Dear vanity of forbidden books and humble beggars cry for amnesty with dirty looks. It's your boy Johnny Mac coming at you for hurtsanddecibels.com. Today, doing a little tutorial on how to chop samples in Logic. A lot of people have asked me, How do you guys chop samples? What's, what's your process? I say we chop samples in Logic. Oh, really? How do you do that? Well, I will show you. Um, first of all, we're going to go ahead and open up Logic Pro. I've got Logic Pro 9 running on here. Um, if it opens another project, just go ahead and close that out. We're going to start a new project. Create empty project. Uh, go ahead and tell it to do one audio track. That's where we're going to stick our original music from our that we're going to sample from. A couple of things we need to do first off is go over here to preferences, key commands. If you go down here into this area that says arrange and various editors. Go ahead and scroll down a little while. You'll see this right here. Split regions events by playhead position. I've got mine set up to be the, uh, I guess that's a backslash. Um, I'll show you how to do this real easy. If there's nothing there, do learn by key label and hit the key that you want it to be and you're done. Easy, but you got to have something set up for that. Uh, the next thing to do is import some audio. I'm going to import an audio file. Um, it's a little Joe Cocker, feeling all right. So we got that in there. So basically, all you do is you play your song wherever you want your chops to be, wherever you want to cut it up, hit that key that you just set up for your key command. So check this out. I'll just do it on the beat. go as long as you want. So I've got these chops here. You can, you know, obviously zoom in, do, you know, really detailed chops if you'd like. Um, but for this purpose, we're not going to do that. Um, next thing you want to do is go and add a software instrument. And come down here in your mixer and choose the EXS24 sampler, stereo, mono, doesn't really matter. Uh, it just depends on what you want to do with it. Um, what you want to do here in this window is go to edit. And it brings up another window. Now you got a lot of stuff going on right here. Uh, good news is you can you know, bring these down a little bit. But what we're going to do is, with this window open, come up here and just grab all of our chops. And basically just drop them in. If you want it to go different places, different zone widths, different start notes, it's fine. I just go with the same settings here. So give it a second while it processes that and they should pop up. So I've got all these chops set up. See how it's doing that? So a couple more things before you can actually get in there is you want to go and you want to create a new group. You want to take all of these that you have here and drop them into this new group. Bam! Like that. A um, couple of things you can do in here if you'd like is uh, this thing called one shot. Uh, let me show you what that does. If you, uh, depending on how long you hold down the key, it will, uh, it'll play out. So you can, uh, I like to put the one shot on. When you go into, uh, you can come over here into this area here called groups, set the polyphony to one or two or however many notes you'd like to play at the same time. I like it to be one. Um, you can just go ahead and close this, uh, save it, you can name it, you can not name it, doesn't matter. Um, 
All right, save. Boom, so now you got this whole instrument here you can play with. Lots of cool things you can do, you can tune it up. Tune it down. Different stuff like that. You can mess around with all this stuff. Just have fun with it. Uh, do your thing. And then when you get all this done, play around with it, you can just go here. Hit your little record button. Oops. Make sure you mute this or delete it. Because uh, you definitely don't want that playing and screwing up your flow like it just did. You can hit, go ahead and hit record. So you got that. Cool thing about this is Logic saves everything. So if you wanted to, go and drop something from the same uh, sample instrument on top of that. Create a new track. Come down here. Get your sampler. Tell it to add all right. We got the same samples loaded back up now. So you can... Go ahead and record on top of that. So, and so forth and so on, you can layer that stuff up. So anyways, have fun chopping samples in Logic. That's how you do it. Easy as pie. Once again, it's Johnny Mac for Hertz and Decibels. We out.